Hi guys and welcome to Australia. Today I want to show you uh, a gun box that I made for a friend. So this is the transport air rifles and such. So I just want to show you a couple of things about how I did it. This box is built to stop the guns from rolling around the back of a ute or a truck or something like that. So some of the features about it, got a couple of handles you know because it gets quite heavy lift. A little lock lock really won't deter a lot of people just to stop people from lifting it up now underneath because it's a bit heavy <coughs> it's got rails here these are wooden hardwood rails so it can when you put on the ground it doesn't wreck the bottom of the plywood <coughs> oh the shape of it it's uh, cut on an angle so instead of half and half um, it tapers down to a larger bit here so you can get more access to get into it. And what you do is it opens up like that and inside you have a couple of rams here, hydraulic rams and you've got the cradles themselves now. Because it carries several different types of guns I had to try and think how I'm going to design it and how I'm going to make it. I've already made my own, a small one, uh, just a single gun carrier. So what I did was he carries different ones. I'm going to show you first. The Air Force PCP. Now this has got an unusual stock a little bit. It's round. So what I did was I built this particular style of stock carrier at the back and I made it so you can just sit it in like that so it sits snugly inside here and also snugly at the front so I created V shapes here and more of a, well, a bit of a slanted V on this one here now they can fit any one of these so if he carries more than one he can just put them in like that and I'll just bring you in close and show you the bottom. We've got two little um, blocks of wood. Now they all got carpet, commercial grade carpet on because I found that carpet does the best job protecting the stocks and the guns. So and what happens in this particular case if the Air Force rifle goes in any one of these it can just sit there and the little pieces of wood here stop the gun from moving sideways if there's going to be any sudden jolts or anything like that. So that's the sort of design that I've done for this one. Now if he's not carrying the Air Force and you carry a more conventional rifle, this is another air rifle, common stock on it, conventional one and the full grip. So what this one does is just rests inside beautifully like that. So um, it now the difference though with the the back of the stock, the front's good. I made a special V-shaped one that slots in here and that accommodates this particular stock or similar stocks. So in that way they're interchangeable. Also what I've done is I've done that to all of them so if it's not gonna if it's not gonna carry a conventional rifle, go back to the Air Force, instead of grabbing this and losing this, you just set it back in there. So that's happened all three. Now on the front he's got an uh, option to pull these out. Now, I'm not quite sure that the length of the guns that he's going to carry, so I built some extra blocks. And these will go down the box further, and these will be able to slide in like that. So, yeah. And that's basically it. A couple of things I did also was um, on this, this corner here, um, a little supports or guides so when it comes down because there is a bit of movement because it's such a big lid and that's that's a three gun carrying box 
There you go.